Auditing Standard SA 810 Part 1 Scope and Objectives Auditing Standard 810 provides guidance to auditors when reporting on summary financial statements. These statements are a condensed version of an entity's financials, providing a snapshot of its economic resources or changes over a period. The auditor's objectives are to accept the engagement, form an opinion on the summary financial statements, and express that opinion in a written report. Engagement Acceptance Before accepting the engagement, the auditor must ensure they have audited the financial statements from which the summary statements are derived. They also evaluate the applied criteria for preparing the summary financials and consider factors like the nature of the entity and the needs of the intended users. Nature of Procedures The auditor evaluates whether the summary financials are properly disclosed and agree with the audited financials. They also check if the summary financials are prepared according to the applied criteria and provide sufficient information without being misleading. Form of Opinion When expressing an unmodified opinion, the auditor can use specific phrases to indicate consistency or a fair summary of the audited financials. If required by law or regulation, different wording may be used, and the auditor should ensure users understand the opinion. Timing of work and events subsequent to the date of the auditor's report on the audited financial statements. The auditor's report on the summary financials may be dated later than the report on the audited financial. However, it should state that the summary financials do not reflect post-report events that might affect the audited financials. Auditing Standard 810 provides essential guidelines for auditors to ensure the accuracy and transparency of summary financial statements. Remember, auditors play a crucial role in maintaining financial integrity and trust. Thanks for watching.